It's time for Rhythm Tracks. Rhythm Tracks. Yes, we have a little short for you folks. You want to see a little Halloween themed short? Yeah, go we'll light. It's a delightful Halloween drama uh, involving an, a, a happy yet disturbed family. I want you to uh, notice, and also a savage dog. <laughs> and I want you to notice, because I just did the last time I watched this, Dad bears a startling resemblance to Inspector Clouseau. Okay. Well, I did not notice that. Keep Thank your you for I did. That out. All Maybe right. I'm wrong. Why didn't we make a joke about that then? I don't know. I'm doing it now. <laughs> it's too uh, late. Man, people it's will say, too late. It's people too will late. Say, um, you missed that joke about that person resembling Inspector Clouseau. All right. All right, Kevin. So without any further ado, let us please roll a Halloween party. Halloween party. <laughs> Nothing says Halloween like smears of ugly crap topped with lame cartoon eyes. From Arizona State College, the high school after high school. It is night. It is for Halloween makes noise. But there is a tap at the window. All information before tap at window omitted for clarity. No one there. Again at the other window. <laughs> But no one is there, either. It's that stupid raven. He can't find the chamber door. Surprise, surprise. It is father with pumpkins, Indian corn, and straw. Everything we need for Halloween decorations. Now, father's been breaking into the neighbor's barn again. Julie wants to know what the straw is for. Dad. To cover the roses with and keep them warm during the winter. The whole family is getting ready to make the jack-o'-lantern. The dog has Peter special has plans for it when it's finished. And Julie brings paper to keep the table clean. And now father is back and we are all together. Whee! Uh-oh, what is Peter up to? Oh, Peter, we begged you to take your medications. <laughs> he is trying to scare Shep with his cat mask. And Shep doesn't like to be teased. I'm sure Peter wouldn't like someone to tease him. Oh, you'd be surprised what Peter's into. <laughs> Father has the pump out and is working on the face. Peter and his cat mask plot revenge. Jeff wants to know what this is all about. And in goes his nose. Hey, get away from here, says Father. Son, go old Yeller the dog, would you? A very sad, sorry, spooky-looking jack-o'-lantern. Sad. Father comments on his own life. Sorry. Spooky. Now comes the best part. Everyone goes to turn out a light. Dad hopes to top last year's pumpkin that just said whites only. Now. Linus watches in horror as his god burns in the window. <laughs> and Shep does not like the jack-o'-lantern with a lighted candle in it. Shep is a vicious menace that has a community living in terror. Lights on. <laughs> Everybody laughs at Shep. <laughs> but now, it's only a matter of time before our dog mauls a child. Ah... <laughs> uh, so, do it next to the candy apples? Hell yeah. But for Shep, the scary part of Halloween has already begun. All night he watches a sad, sorry, spooky jack-o'-lantern. The next morning he'll have a conversation with the neighbor, David Berkowitz. The next day is a dull one for Shep. Mother has gone to school to bring Julie and Peter home for lunch, and father is at work. And the jack-o'-lantern is not scary in the daytime. These are the days when Shep really wishes he still had nuts to lick. Yeah. But there is Peter's cat. Join me, Shep, in my whiskered army of darkness. Feed Shep with that. And so Shep tears the scary mask apart. Saving Peter years of beatings and wedgies. There's the outside door. Wax Peter Museum, Ron Howard. Oh, no, it's, it's just, Peter. just Peter, yeah. And there's no time to make a new one. 
because a costume parade is right after lunch. We can't spare seven seconds to draw a face on a bag. <laughs> but Mother is sure there is some way to get Peter a new costume. Now let's see. There's a needle and thread. Now keep in mind, literally anything would be better than the costume he had. Oh, Chef, you're such a bad dog. Now Peter won't have a chance to win the prize for the best costume. Huh? Best costume? Lady, it was a bag. I did the kid a favor. <laughs> Mother tells Peter that she has an idea. Let's flee the country, kids. Peter, get the rag bag. Julie, run upstairs and get my makeup box. Now the Mexican hat. Or as the Mexicans call it, a Mexican hat. Quickly now, only half an hour left. Wee! I'll never have friends! <laughs> Didn't this kid bully Ralphie in a Christmas story? <laughs> Stuff Farkas. And last, the straw hat. Lady Scarecrow. Lady Scarecrow? Is that a thing? <laughs> Mom just made it up to increase Peter's humiliation. Mother, Julie, and Chef watching. There's a witch, a cat, and a clown. None shown Every here. Different kind of costume. But Peter's Lady Scarecrow is the best. It is so funny and so different. So inexplicable and First unnecessary. Hooray! The box of balloons. And Peter calls all the other children to share his prize. Balloons for everyone. Everyone blows up a balloon. <laughs> and tries to figure out what makes a lady scarecrow different from any other scarecrow. And then... Oh, oh no! He's spraying! Run, kids! Get out of there! <laughs> Chef is happy that he helped Peter win. <laughs> Peter Whoa. is very happy. Yes, Halloween is fun. <laughs> Which was apparently in question. Who cares? Yes. Lady Scarecrows for everyone. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> Halloween party. It's time for real tracks. Real tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.